All right. Well, look, I feel so privileged to be here today uh, and drop such a huge announcement, series of announcements, actually. Uh, and this will really mark um, a new chapter for Web3. So as we all know, we live in uh, an increasingly multi-chain world, more private chains, more public chains. And the problem is that those chains don't talk with each other. And that creates a series of much bigger problems. And the first one is that liquidity is fragmented. So um, trading across chains is painful. Um, using collateral on one chain to borrow in another chain is painful. Governance is painful. And users have to jump through some crazy hoops uh, to circumvent this problem. Second, this is much, much bigger than DeFi. They're close to $900 trillion uh, of, of assets just waiting to be tokenized. And uh, there's a huge need for this, huge pressure to do this. And the big bottleneck is cross-chain communication. Like if, if you think about it, why would you put an asset on chain for this asset to be trapped on one chain instead of being able to move freely across chains, right? Now think about just a few percent of this $900 trillion value, amount, number, flowing into Web3 and the impact this would have on the industry. And third, the lack of interoperability is just killing innovation. Like you can't mix and match contracts, you can't compose contracts. I think there's someone on Twitter said that um, blockchains without cross-chain communication is like computers with no internet. And I think it's very true. You know, this is how Web2 works. Developers, someone creates something really great, another developer who doesn't know them from Adam or Eve just goes and uses it, and then the whole ecosystem grows that way. We can't do this in Web3, right? So this problem is holding us back, holding the whole industry back, so how do we solve this? Well, the first thing that we have to recognize, this is an extremely difficult problem to solve. It's very, very di difficult technically, Chains are all very different for all very good reasons. And then security is super important. Just last year and even recently, we've seen some crazy numbers. I think there's last year it was close to $2 billion worth of fund that were stolen. So security is super important, which makes this, this product very hard to build. But the second point is that it's not just a product. What we need to create is a standard. I mean, think about it, it's like a language, like TCP IP. Everyone needs to adopt it for this to be valuable. Everyone needs to speak the same language. And that's what we need to create, a standard. So how do you build a standard? Well, first, it needs to be secure. I think this goes without saying. I'm gonna keep repeating a lot of secure, secure. It's very important. Um, it needs to be flexible. And then it needs to have community, so security, because the name of the game, you're going to move assets across chains, has to be highly, highly reliable. Flexible, because we need to accommodate all the different use cases that developers are going to come up with. It needs to be able to accommodate all these ideas that the standard is going to have to welcome, right? And the third one is community, because the standard is only as valuable as the community that uses it, that adopts it. It turns out Chainlink, and thanks to our users and our partners, has created the industry-defining standard for data in Web3 and has built an incredible community. This is why Chainlink is uniquely positioned to solve this cross-chain problem by extending the standard to cross-chain and, um, and unlock a new wave of innovation in Web3. And so no wonder that this moment has been so highly anticipated. And so, it is my absolute pleasure to announce that the wait is over. CCIP is launching right now on mainnet, early access for Synthetix and Aave. <laughs> and all developers are going to be able to use CCIP on testnet in three small days on five different test nets. So we're building CCIP with security first. 
Uh, we take no shortcuts here. We have a defense in-depth strategy. Uh, we're using the same time-tested node operators and infrastructure that have secured our data um, business. And security is really what will create the standard, right? And then the standard is what's going to unlock this whole innovation. Now, uh, it's also super flexible. As you will see, the docs will be available. Uh, actually, I think they are available. And you'll see that uh, we have many different layers that you could use. We have uh, simplified token transfer. We have smart tra transaction execution for gas efficiency. And then it's very, very, very easy to integrate. It's something that we spend a lot of time uh, working on. And I want to thank, again, all our beta partners who have given us so, so much feedback on how to make this product what it is. And as I mentioned, well, Chainlink already built a Web3 standard, thanks to all of you, with $8 trillion worth of transaction value enabled, with 9 billion data points delivered on-chain, working with all major chains, all major dApps, working with Swift, working with 12 of the biggest banks in the world. And what we want to do is we want to bring all this community to solve the cross-chain problem all together. And because we're building Chainlink as a platform, using one product makes it easier to use another product. And this applies to CCIP. So if you're using data feeds, well, it makes it super easy for you to use CCIP because you're not introducing any additional trust assumption. So we're excited to partner with Synthetix, and you'll hear from Kane right after this, uh, the Synth Teleporter is using CCIP to burn and mint tokens um, across chain safely and accurately. And this uh, burn and mint method is actually way more capital efficient because it doesn't require liquidity pool. We're also working with Aave uh, to power cross chain governance. So the governance V2 was expensive. And so the Aave community voted to integrate CCIP to power governance V3. Uh, since CCIP is more gas efficient than it's flexible and secure. And all the many other things, all the wonderful and unexpected things that all of you developers are, are going to come up with with CCIP. This is really the moment that I think we unlock Web3 interoperability. This is the, we want to unlock all of you in the whole ecosystem with this launch. And uh, I know it took time to build, but we wanted to build it right and we wanted to build it with you. And um, this is going to be a whole new chapter in Web3. Uh, Sergey is going to talk about how this is enabling an internet of contracts uh, with a single connectivity standard, similarly to TCP IP, where you could just seamlessly you know, reuse any components you want to build the best experience possible. So join us, and let's build this standard together. Thank you.